guys welcome to my channel tech portal in this video i am going to show you how to install custom kernel in your samsung galaxy j7 but before doing anything i want to tell you that it is only the tutorial of how to install custom kernel in your j7 and it is not the perfect kernel because it has some little bugs which will later be moved by the developer and also i want to tell you that if you don't know how to install custom kernel because it requires custom recovery you can check out my video the links are given in the description so without wasting time let's get started so first let's check whether my stock kernel has some governors or not governors are help to save battery life or to increase the performance here you can see that here only interactive governor and no other features are available in this stock kernel so let's flash custom kernel for this you have to boot into recovery mode if you don't know how to root into recovery mode you can check the links are given in the description now press this volume up power and home key simultaneously for about 4 to 5 seconds after power off your device so now my phone has been turned off so now press this volume up power and home key simultaneously for about 4 to 5 seconds and now we are in TWRP first I recommend you to create a backup in case you have lost any data you can restore it by clicking on this restore button and now just click on this install and you can download the file the links are given in the description and you can copy it whether in your internal or external SD card I have placed it in my internal and sorry for that here it is the file custom kernel j7 version 2.5 it is the latest version but developer soon will remove some bugs and the version 3.0 will come so just click on this and don't touch anything just click on this swipe to confirm flash and now my uh, kernel has been installed and you can see this it also installed busybox now go to this wipe cache no need to clear Delphi cache just clear the cache and now boot into your system in case you get stuck on this Samsung if you created a backup you can restore it directly and it will help you to save your time so here we are with our custom kernel so let's check whether and there is any governor or not so here the in specific when enabled and screen is on as cynic operation is asynchronous when this is the new feature with this custom kernel and in governors you can see there are lots of governors which you can use to save your battery or you can use to increase the performance and here there is no maximum frequency it is still 1.5 gigahertz and the minimum is still so i hope it will work for you and if any queries you can comment in the comment box thank you